mainly collectibles, pop, Funko toys, and trading cards, sports, non-sports, and others. Uh, maybe 16, 17 years ago, so yeah, been a while. So we sort of started as a personal seller, so we we're doing a lot of electronics and other things that were handed over to us, and then got into the collectible side, which was a personal interest, maybe back in, ooh, maybe 16 years ago. So yeah, more personal collections actually bolster our own, and then had people coming back wanting our other things. eBay was just the go-to. It was the marketplace to go to to sell those sort of items, collectibles, people were always there. Uh, and being at the forefront of technology, it was something you always just grabbed. So you saw the opportunities and a marketplace and people that you couldn't see at market stalls that you were selling at. So you're actually capturing an audience that didn't exist that you weren't having access to previously. Would have been a mobile phone, a Nokia 9110, and an open flip that you could actually send a fax on. <laughs> fax? What's a fax? For us being collectibles, it's the pride on the packaging. Uh, the feedback's everything from best packaging they've ever received to um, speedy post. We have a three-day handling time, but we always ship same day if it's within a certain time frame. So that sort of blows it out of the water. So most feedback comes around speed and efficiency in shipping, as well as care put into the package. Uh, it's not a specific comment, but if you go through reviews, almost everyone's mentioning the speed and the efficiency with the packaging, and each one of those just add up to each other for us. So this is a part of our full-time aggregate total. So we have multiple channels and multiple different um, businesses that we do. One's electronics, one's collectibles, and we have another one on the side as well, all through eBay facing as well, but the collectors is the main one. The buyers. The ability to have somebody happy to find something that they couldn't find. Uh, having an item that nobody else could actually get for them and sending it to them in a condition that they'd happy to have it. Uh, we find there's a lot of competitors in the market that don't take pride in their products, and for us it's about sending it in that manner that's actually received how they expect to get it. I think sending offers to buyers is really good. Uh, it actually helps you stimulate if you need to increase both your cash flow and also get the opportunity for additional sales. But on top of that, I think bundling that with the reports you get, the sales reports, you can actually see your repeat buyers. So it actually justifies where you're capitalising on the marketing that you're doing with the best offers or coupons or others. Being able to send offers to customers is quite important to us. It stimulates sales that you might not be getting.